Now let us look at question 3 of your class test 2. In question 3, we have an electrical kettle that's rated 230 volts uh, when 8 amp and at 8 amperes. It contains some water. It is placed on a balance as illustrated in the diagram below. The kettle is switched on and when the water is boiling, you are told that the reading on the balance is found to decrease by 8.1 grams in 10 seconds. For part A, you are asked to calculate the power rating P of the kettle. So in this case, since we are given the value of I and V, we can simply use power is equal to I times V and we will have 8 ampere multiplied by 230 volts and that would give us 1840 watts. Okay, so um, just note that the units of power is given by watts or alternatively, uh, one watt is actually one joule per second. Okay, in the second part, you are asked to determine the specific latent heat of vaporization of water. So to do so, uh, we need to employ conservation of energy. And in this case, the kettle supplies an energy of P times over a time of T. During that time of T, um, some mass has evaporated and the energy required to vaporize that mass N is given by M times the latent heat of vaporization. So in this question, we are interested in L. So let's make L the subject of our formula. Then what we will have is L is equals to P T over M. So all it lets us to do now is to actually just substitute the values into the equation. We have the power to be 1840 watts as calculated above. And in a time of 10 seconds, 8.1 grams has evaporated. So 8.1, just remember to work in SI units, is 8.1 times 10 to the power of minus 3 kg. So quick check, all the units are in uh, SI units and what we can therefore compute this to be is 2.27 times 10 to the power of 6 joules per kg. Okay, the units must be correct for the answer mark to be given.